I thought Dead Space looked pretty good. I don't know about you. We had a chance to go in behind the scenes and we had a get very a peek. intimate look at Dead Space. You and I very in intimate. a tiny room with the producers and the game. Moment. And there was a lot of concern in the office when we were discussing it. Just people afraid of the, the idea of co-op being in Dead Space. You know, the demo we saw at the EA's press conference showed wide open spaces, a new cover mechanic, shooting you know other human enemies. Didn't really look a lot like Dead Space. Obviously you got Isaac back, the suit of armor, the line cutter, stuff like that, but it didn't have that same vibe as, as Dead Space we've seen. But when you and I got pulled into that back room, we saw classic Dead Space with co-op, tight corridors, uh, the darkened kind of ship exterior, you know, metal hallways, stuff like oh, that. Yeah. It just rang true to, to the first and second game. That reminded me a little of a Left 4 Dead with the witch, where you'd always like hear that sound and you'd be like, what is that? Just be quiet. Because that's what these new enemies, like feeders are. You want to sneak around them if you can, kind of like set up and be very like strategic about how you approach it. Because as soon as they start attacking, it's like tequila shots. They just come out from all corners. It is such an intimate thing, you know, like scares. Like you want to be the one that experiences something jumping out at you. When you have a co-op partner, you don't want to wake the witch kind of thing. Like you want to be quiet around those new feeding enemies that we saw. That's something you're going to be communicating verbally with someone online. All right, be really quiet in here. Don't shoot the gun. All these things will come running at us. Let's just sneak through here. If you're like Dan Reichert and you don't have any friends, uh, you can still play the game single player and it will still be that single player experience. The concern I have with the game is how much they're going to resort to the pop and shoot tactics that we saw in that first E3 demo uh, against human enemies. Like what percentage of the game is going to be dedicated to a very different style of gameplay. It's almost like two games in one. Even when Isaac's fighting hordes of, of human enemies, he'll probably still have to deal with necromorphs and other kind of creatures. I welcome change. This is the third installment we've spent, you know. 20 hours in these games. The ice setting, I think, is going to bring a, a new element. How they're going to deliver scares and, and horror that way will be interesting to see. But then also changing up the gameplay to a certain degree, you know. Zero gravity stuff's returning. Obviously, there'll be a lot of stuff in space, it sounds like. Oh, yeah? Uh, it won't all just be on this planet. So I'm really looking forward to where they go with it. And I think they're on the right path from what I've seen of that E3 demo giving something different and then that very classic Dead Space feel. I would say if there's one thing you want to communicate to somebody who's like excited for Dead Space 3 and they're worried about co-op mechanics, like don't worry because like it still looks just as terrifying as ever. Couldn't agree more.